I'm Kimberly Hamilton here at the Atlanta Film Festival. I just had the pleasure of seeing this incredible short film, Chipper, and I'm here with a very talented, multi-talented actor, writer, director, producer, Jason Warner-Smith. Jason, what can you tell us about Chipper? Uh, Chipper is the story of a wayward son, older son, who has been called home in a mysterious letter to his father's home, his childhood home, and in the letter there is this dark family secret that has been revealed to him and he has to go home and deal with that. And that's the story. It's a short film, I can't tell you anymore. Right, you don't want to give it away. Nope. So I know as an actor you're also a great teacher so and you've been I. teaching Dimidov recently from yeah. what I understand. Do you mind if I ask you, did you use a little Dimidov in this particular role, or do you want to share anything about your process for this role? Yes, actually, uh, this was the first time I had a chance to really try out the Dimidov School of Acting in a full-on production, and yes, I did. And it, I can't explain it in the length of this interview, um, but it really comes down to getting the words into you in a way that doesn't pre- plan how they'll come out later and then getting the given circumstances into you and then letting all of that go and just living and obviously working with the other actors working with the environment letting the circumstances work on you and then the words come out when they come out and hopefully they come out in the right order so that's basically it I would love to learn more about that technique one day when we're not doing an interview. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so I've seen a lot of your work on camera and on the stage. Yeah. And you are a great example of a very talented actor who also creates his own work. And you inspire other actors to create their own work. So how did this idea originate? 100% um, narcissistically. <laughs> I love the honesty. It's the truth. <laughs> Uh, back in around 2016, um, it was before I worked on The Walking Dead and my career was going okay, but all I played was bad guys. Lots and lots of really evil, creepy, nasty guys. I feel like the only roles I've seen you play are bad guys, but you're so good at it! I was a good guy, I was a good guy tonight! Yes! It was refreshing. Uh, at least I think I'm, yeah, well, it's ambivalent. Yeah. But um, I wanted to play a protagonist, I wanted to play a leading role in, an, in a film. And so I sent out a note on Facebook, hey writers of Atlanta, anybody want to write, write a short film for me? And luckily, Ruckus and Lane Sky said yes, which is fantastic. And they wrote me this wonderful script and we made a movie six years later. Yeah. I appreciate your honesty there because as actors we have to create our own content these days. So. Well, yeah, I just I, I, I wanted a chance to play a hero. And I probably this would probably be it for my career. <laughs> no, you were fantastic. You could really carry the entire movie. You had great chemistry with all the other actors, with yeah. Rick, with Brad. They were wonderful. And Brittany <laughs> and Brittany Deneen, yeah. who needs an agent, Brittany Deneen, sign her today. So where can the kids at home follow you and your upcoming projects? And do you have any upcoming projects you'd like to share? Well, you know, with such a wonderful drama like Chipper, um, I'm following that up with the sequel to Half Baked, Half Baked 2, coming to theaters soon near you. I will soon be a part of stoner history. Yes, that's not a joke. I'm actually in Half Baked 2. Um, <laughs> I, other than that, I don't have anything else in the pipeline right now. Um, there's a film uh, that's on iTunes or one of those places, Apple, uh, called You're Killing Me, which is a, a teenage horror thriller that I'm in. Um, but that's about it. Do I have anything else lined up? Was that part of the question? No. <laughs> so what is your role in this Half-Baked 2 film? Oh, I play a, uh, a drug-addled cop. I'm after those damn kids and their drugs. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it either. So I have one more question for you. Uh, so Popcorn Roulette is a movie review reaction channel. Okay. So do you have a favorite film that you like to share with a friend or a loved one just to see their reaction? Sexy Beast. <laughs> Two words. Yes. It stars Ben Kingsley and... Another guy from England whose name I can't remember right now. Okay. Yeah, but it's, it's an excellent film from the 90s, I think. 
And Ben Kingsley plays the most wonderful villain ever. It's really good. A better villain than you, really? Way better. Well, I've never seen the movie, so now I want to see it. Sexy Beast. Sexy Beast. Yep. All right. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me. Always a joy. My pleasure. Thank you. We thank you. Thank you. We have to leave the building. Time to leave the building. <laughs> <laughs>